You all know that I really like bright colored cars. My Cadm Orange NX450 Plus is quite bright and quite it stands out quite well in a parking lot. And I've also owned an ultrasonic blue Mica 2.0 NX300 before as well. The new Copper Crest is actually not too bad as well. There are so many choices of colors and a getting a good color is important. Some people will actually just want white or black. And really, Lexus sells most cars in white. And I don't know why. But if you want to change your color from time to time, I think at this point it gets expensive because you have to sand, get it repainted, or newer technology, you can actually get it wrapped with different patterns, different colors. And I know some of you who couldn't get a cat in orange actually went and got a wrap to get it in orange. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Toyota's plan to allow drivers to change the color of the cars. And it's not like sanding it or wrapping it. It's some new tech that they published a patent allowing paint to change over time. Let's get to it. Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to talk about car colors. So previously, BMW had actually released something called e-ink, and that is for cars for BMW where they can actually change the color of the vehicle, and it's a technology that is quite cool. What they need to do is they actually send an electric pulse to the paint, and it will actually change the colors. I think the BMW version is a little bit different, and what you can do is you can go into the app and say what color you want to change it to. And I think there's a limited number of colors that you can actually change the car to. It's quite cool, but there are some concerns. Well, the first concern I have with this is how can law enforcement actually enforce the law? Because right now, when you register your vehicle, the police will say, okay, they check your license. The license will say, uh, this is license plate and the car is supposed to be white. Well, but then if you change the color, then it could be blue, it could be orange, it could be white, it could be black, or whatever it is, right? Then it's a little bit hard for these law enforcement uh, officers to really go and figure out what happened. And then if there was like a bank robbery, they left the car, they left it with a black car. But then you went and changed the car to blue, and it gets a little bit awkward, isn't it? So I'm not sure if that is something that can actually work in our current society. So then March 19th, Toyota put into a patent. They have the ability to change exterior paint color. And this one is a little bit different from the BMW one. When they make the change, that you can't make the change in an infotainment. You actually have to go to the dealer and the dealer has to do something to actually get it changed. When you actually go get your paint color change, then they can actually notify like the registry to make sure that they match your car and the color with your license so that all these problems that I talked about law enforcement are no longer a problem. Follow me on Instagram at LSFT videos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX 450H Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can reach out to me via direct messaging if you have any questions on your Lexus. If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video, share it with your friends. This definitely will help with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks or visit my Amazon storefront before you purchase anything from Amazon and or you can purchase products from the list on the items that I've been using with my vehicle or at home at no extra cost to you. And now let's continue with the video. All right, so this is the US patent document and the title is Turnable Exterior Paint Color. And you can see it's coming from Toyota Motor Man Manufacturing North America. And when we look into this, it gives you a little bit detail about, okay, you have the vehicle here. And then you can see that there is, seems like a sprayer of some sort. And then there are some steps and we'll go further in detail on this. But before we go there, I'm just going to go and look at what they talk about 
in this pattern and it's going to be a high level because there's a lot of terminology a lot of things so i'm just going to talk about the dis description of what they're trying to do and a summary all right so they're saying that vehicles such as automobiles may be coated with a paint in order to change the color of the vehicle many owners may choose to completely repaint their vehicle or get a vehicle wrap so i talked about this right Repainting an entire vehicle is very expensive and requires the vehicle to be in a paint shop for at least a week to perform the sanding, painting, and drying process. And a vehicle wrap is also expensive, but it takes less downtime. So they're saying that the vehicle wrap is a film applied or put on the vehicle to give the vehicle a different appearance and color. And I can tell you, there's a lot of Teslas out there that have been wrapped because... They only have limited number of colors. Just getting a different paint job is extremely expensive. So they're saying that, however, a vehicle wrap can be expensive and time consuming to apply or install and does not last as long as desired. So in addition, in addition vehicle colors may come and go with trends. So people would say that they're worried about my cadmium orange because the trend goes over, then that color seems outdated and all that. It is what it is, right? So. They're saying that similarly, a dealership may actually may actually desire to change the color of the vehicle if a certain vehicle color is difficult to sell. So this is probably one reason why Toyota is thinking about this. So they're saying that this is needed for the art of the systems and methods for efficiently and easily changing exterior paint color of a car. Of a car. So I think from a, a sales perspective, People may want to get their car changing color and give them an easy way to get a change. Great. That's one thing that they can do. But the second thing is, when you think about it, the dealership can actually change it to another car, another color. And if you want it blue, I'll get it blue. So I think from a manufacturing perspective, it is actually easier for Toyota to do that. So let's continue down and look at the summary, what they, what they say here. So they're saying that described here in our systems and methods that utilize thermal energy. So they're saying a specific light at a certain frequency at a heat level for a specific, a specific time period, which links to certain colors so that all the vehicles would be manufactured in a single color. For instance, white or a given color and appearance and change to a specific color at the dealership before the customer purchases the vehicle. So when you think about this, if it going off the assembly line, every single car is white or it's gray or it's black. And then when it gets to the dealership, they will go through this process to change it to whatever color you want. Isn't that cool? And from a manufacturing standpoint, it will be a lot easier for them to manage because they don't have to have like an orange come by, then the red one and the yellow one and the white one and the blue one and all and so forth. So a system for modulating vehicle paint of a vehicle includes a paint layer disposed on an exterior surface of a vehicle and a color modulator configured to radiant a light at a certain frequency for a specific time such as such that the paint layer will react and it will change colors. So when the paint is exposed to light. So one thing that you may think, oh, if I park my car outside, will it change colors? Um, it won't because they, I think it's designed that way where you park your car outside for a long time anyways. And I don't think that that will actually cause an issue. So, and if it does, it's probably a pattern that will never happen because they'll have so many problems with this paint. So this pattern really talks about how they are going to be able to change the color. So here they have an example here. So they're saying that the system and methods described actually utilizes thermal energy. So a specific light at a certain frequency, so 300 nanometer to 800 nanometers, and a heat level around 40 to 90 degrees Celsius for a specific time, so 30 to 4 hours, which links to certain colors so that all the vehicles could be manufactured in a single color. They're giving me a little bit more information. So if you look at it, 40 to 90 degrees, so if I'm in like Arizona, 90 degrees Celsius, uh, it gets a little bit too hot there, but I don't think it'll ever get to 90. So I think we, if we have cases where we'll see 50 degrees Celsius, but I think 
during the, this this heat level, it's not as easy right now that and we probably can't sustain higher than 40 that long anyways. So if you have places where it's going to get too hot, maybe this paint will have a problem, but I'm not too sure. This is the mechanism that, that has all the heat and also the radiant lighting like that actually goes and changes the colors of the vehicle. All right. So here it shows 200. It seems like there, that's not the module that will heat up and change the color of the panels. And then we he see here in figure three, which actually talks about how it would communicate from the car talking to the, the machine so that it will actually go and say, OK, I'm ready. Give me the light. And then it does all the things that's needed to make the color changes. Then you look at here for 400. It looks like it says receive desired paint color. So that's the first thing is, OK, someone has to go and put in the paint information. So this seems like it's going to download the information uh, from the database to get that information. And then it will apply a light at a heat level. And then it will apply light at another heat level for a duration of time. After the, that, it will remove the light after the duration of time passes. And now your color has been done. So how many times do they have to do this? So reading through here, it seems like they could actually go up to three times. So they will have three different temperatures. I think that could be the RGB colors. So the first pass is uh, one duration, one temperature, and then the second pass, and then the third pass. So I would say that this is extremely cool, but then it doesn't give the owner the capability of changing it themselves. So maybe after three years of Cat in Orange, I may go back and say, can you now change it to a Copper Crest NX? Wouldn't that be cool? So let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think that this is something that nobody's asked for? Or do you think that this is something that it would actually make sense? To me, I think it's a cost reduction for Toyota in the manufacturing process, but then it also adds benefit to owners if they want to get color changes. Let me know in comments below, what do you think? I hope that you found that this video was informative and until next video, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.